All right, uh, let's look at the uh, homogeneous substitution. Let's say we have a different equation of the form uh, dy over dx is equal to capital F of uh, inside the parentheses y uh, over x. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this following substitution. Uh, we're going to let uh, v be y over x. All right, then since uh, I don't like fractions, so I'm going to just multiply both sides by x. So I'm going to just simply multiply both sides by x. So we end up getting uh, x times v uh, is equal to y. All right, then I'm going to just uh, take the derivative from here. So I'm going to take the derivative. So here. All right, so since it's a two things multiplied together, I'm going to use the uh, product rule. So it's going to be derivative of the first guy is 1 times derivative of the second would be dv, oh, actually, sorry, times the second. So this is going to be just v uh, plus first guy is x, take the derivative of the second guy. So this is dv over dx. All right, so this is going to be equal to uh, dy over dx because the right hand side is just x. So derivative of uh, that with respect to x. All right, then here, if you look at the original differential equation, uh, we know that uh, we decided to call this guy v, right? So um, dy over dx is actually the same thing as capital F of v, All right? So we can just uh, place um, this guy right in here. All right, so we have that. Then, so this is going to be simply uh, capital F of V. And uh, you notice that uh, if you subtract uh, uh, V from there, so you would just get the X dV over dx. Uh, is equal to uh, capital F of V minus V, all right? Then you can see that uh, we can uh, put all the V's in one side and all the X's one side, so I'm not going to do any further, but uh, we can see that, that this is going to be a separable equation. All right. So therefore, uh, we know what to do from here, all right? So let's look at, look at an example. All right, so the different equation we have is uh, x times uh, dy over dx is equal to y plus square root of x squared minus y squared. All right, in this form, we can't quite see the uh, y over x uh, expressions. So what we need to do is we need to actually uh, divide through by x first, All right? So we'll get uh, dy over uh, dx, All right, is equal to, All right, y divided by x, so that's exactly what we wanted, so dy over x, All right, plus, All right, so we have a square root, so we have to be a little bit careful, so we are dividing by x, but the inside the square root, we're gonna have to divide by x squared, so x squared divided by x squared would be 1, which is kind of nice. And then you have a dy, a y squared over x squared. So I'm going to write it as a y over x and squared. All right. So we know that the substitution is, uh, you know, let um, uh, v equals uh, y over x. Right. So we know that uh, here we, we see uh, a V showing up here and we see another V uh, showing up there, All right? So we end up getting uh, this uh, V plus uh, square root of one minus V squared, All right? So we have that. Then, as, uh, as before, we're going to actually multiply this uh, substitution through by x so that the, we have uh, xv is equal to uh, y. 
All right. Then I'm going to uh, uh, take the derivative. So derivative of the first is 1 times v plus uh, x times dv over uh, dx is equal to uh, dy over dx. All right? But the expression for dy over dx uh, shows up right here. So I'm going to squeeze that in here, all right? So this is going to be uh, v plus square root of 1 minus v squared, all right? And the first thing I would do, I would do is, uh, since uh, there's a v sitting here, uh, there's a v sitting here, right? and uh, there's a v on the other side, so I'm going to subtract v from both sides. So I'm going to subtract v. So we have x times dv over dx uh, is equal to uh, square root of uh, 1 minus v squared. Okay. Since uh, this is a separable equation, I'm going to um, uh, put all the v's on the left all the x's on the right. So I'm going to divide through by uh, x, right? So that the x is going to be on the other side. Also, I'm going to divide through by square root of 1 minus v squared, which is the right-hand side. All right, so then uh, you're going to end up getting, uh, let's see, uh, 1 over, right? Square root of 1 minus v squared and you have a dv over dx. And on the other side, you're going to have, so this will cancel out, so you're going to have just a 1 over x. All right. Then I'm going to uh, take the integral with respect to x. So we're going to integrate both sides with respect to x. Integrate this side uh, with respect to x. All right. Then uh, you can see that uh, we can cancel dx here and uh, dx there. All right, then uh, we can just uh, find the antiderivative from there. And uh, luckily, antiderivative 1 over square root of 1, of 1 minus v squared would be arc sine. So we're going to get the arc sine of v. All right, so this is equal to, all right, antiderivative 1 over x is a natural log of absolute value of x, and then we probably have plus some constant c there. All right? Then we, we're going to solve for v by applying a sine to both sides. You're going to get the v is equal to a sine of natural log of absolute value of x plus some constant c. All right? Then, but remember that the v is originally x, uh, y over x. So I'm going to actually put that here, uh, y over x. So what we can do is simply multiply through by x so that the, we can find y. So y is equal to uh, x times sine of natural log of absolute value of x. Uh, plus some constant c. All right? So that is the um, the solution. Uh, it's actually gen general solution of the given uh, homogeneous equation. All right? Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.